Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and we're going to continue on with our episode 11, I think this is, of the playthrough on the orbital setting. So this is my tertiary, or third main save that I've started from scratch in orbital. Well, it started out in Omega first, now it's orbital. And we are continuing on this. Now, at the time that you're seeing this, most likely the latest update came out in June, around June 12th, I hope. Uh, I don't know at this point, because I'm, I'm still in May. And uh, yeah, so the latest update isn't going to be in the next few episodes. It'll be a few episodes down the road, probably sometime in July when this will transition over to the newest update. And we'll see what that's going to be about. I'm, I'm anticipating some min minor changes, though some people say major changes. Who knows? So moving right along, we are going to continue with our main mission. We need to get ourselves a farmer. So we're going to get the farmer next, and we're going to see if we can blast through these real quick, because I got a lot of crops already. So hopefully we can get some things done. I'm going to probably put, right outside this door, a new room. Um, I'm probably going to put it up on a pedestal. Stairs going up into it. I think that would be best. So I'm going to have to hit the anomaly to do this. All right. So acquire a circuit board, it says. Okay, because that is because I am in expanding the base still. I haven't acquired my farming guy. So let me go ahead and get this the circuit board. So we're going to talk to this guy real quick. Um, I'm sorry, I should have read all that. My current research requires animal behavioral data. We'd be able to assist. So we'll give him data creatures. Ooh, perfect travel. This will greatly aid my research. Please take the nanites in compensation. All right, so if we hit these guys once in a while, they may give us things, but not much. So I, I don't have to hit him, and the reason hit him. I don't have to talk to him because I should already have the circuit board, right? But I need to make a heat capacitor and polyfiber. So let me scroll down. Heat capacitors requiring frost crystals and selenium. I need 200 of it, which I do have. And polyfiber, which requires cactus flesh and star bulbs. Um, okay. So that is in order to make this, right? Heat capacitor polyfiber. So the good news is, is I think I've got enough. So let me go ahead and jump out of here. Um, hold on a second here. There we go. I accidentally clicked off my screen. Um, wrong door. Constantly going out the wrong door. So we need frost crystals, right? And we should have some, because I picked some up on another planet at some point, I believe. If you see them, point them out to me. Kidding, of course. Yes. Get them. Let's check the other one. There they are. Don't have enough. Of course I don't have enough. Alright, so I need 200 frost crystals. And I need cactus flesh. I'll need 200 of that too. And so I'm going to have to go out and get some more. I knew it. I knew I was going to need more of it. Alright. So, in order to build these things, they are requiring, let me see here, this one I can make with only 100 cross crystals and the 200 selenium, so I'll make that right now. And the other one is going to require 200 star bulbs. We only need 100 cactus flesh. All right, maybe we'll get lucky here. Maybe we'll get lucky here. All right, so let's put the frost crystals back. Alright, and we need star bulbs. Now the good news is we're on a good planet because this place contains, as you can see, top right corner, star bulbs. We just gotta look for them. Uh, let's see, that's just a subterranean plant. Star bramble, that's what we're looking for. Take this guy over here. <laughs> oh, jerk. Yeah, you get what you pay, alright? Oh, there they are. Don't hit the creature. Alright, so we need 200 of these. We may have to find another crop. Let's see how many we get. Not a lot. Forty out of just those few plants. Be 
plants right beside each other. Three, it looks like. Good. A few more. I wasn't trying to get a jetpack search. How many do we get? We need literally one more. Ah, I think we got one that we can get. And we aren't going to need more because our wonderful uh, farmer is going to require us to get more. So let me just see if there's any around. There it is, 500 units away. Let me just check over here real quick. No, okay, that way. That way it is. Off we go. Ooh, that looks like a good cropping over there. So let's grab those. So we have 200 right now. We can make what we need to make and get it back to them. Wow, check it out. we got some good stuff here. These are very good. It's just giving us nav data for the most part, but every now and then, these will give you something other than navigation data. Oh, okay. Well, while we're here. I wasn't trying to get that one. Uh, let's get them while we're here, because we don't want to just keep going with it. There we go. All right. Three more navigation data. Okay, so all these gave us is navigation data this time. We didn't get any exosuit upgrades or anything like that that I'm aware of. All right, so let's go ahead and get our star bulbs. The more we get, the better. For the purposes of our questing, especially with our farmer. Because, again, he will ask us to go out and get some. Uh, let's go with the ones over here. Oxygen. Okay, and there was one more. There it is. Excellent. We should have tons of it now. Yep, 465. I think we're in good shape. Let's go ahead and make this thing. I don't know why it keeps reverting all the way down there. Polyfiber is what we need. And the next thing we need is going to be a circuit board. So now that we got it... Nope, it just keeps bouncing me back up. I have no idea why that is. It looks like a glitch in the program. It is what it is. Let's head back to our base. I do like the Rome. I still think, personally, my favorite is the Pilgrim, which is the bike. Faster, it has more... more jump capability. It's just plain and simply cool. Okay, just, let's be clear. Oh, what do you know? I do have a round habitat right there. Okay. So let's... Hmm, that's very interesting. Because I was planning on making one of these and putting in the plants. But what I may do is I may make a second one behind it that's square. Okay, let's see what we can do about that. Um, we need to head to the anomaly. Do we have the ability to... Nope, we don't. Okay, let's go ahead and get him the circuit board. And we'll go from there. Trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. As I approached the overseer, I'm almost, I was almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there's no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Navigator Roint asked me for the circuit boards. The overseer is strange, but no more so than any other beings I have encountered. Indeed, they have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my room. There's my galactic trade terminal. We need three microprocessors to install it. 
Ah, friend, you'll be so happy but with Navigator Void. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but I cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a Gravitino Ball to perfect my device. The Overseer predicted I would be pleased, and once again they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. The Gravitino Ball is required to finish their promised starship technology. The farmer may be able to help acquire one. Now, I don't have the farmer yet, of course. You will not regret it, friend. It is good we work so well together. All right. Believe it or not, we can actually do this. I'm going to go out the back because I want to go over here. Oh, uh, I need circuit boards. Let me just grab those real quick. That's going to be in container number one, which is... There we go. So let's put that galactic terminal up real quick, the trade terminal, which we can't do in that structure over there. It can only be done here. There it is. There it is. And now we can access trading right here. Thing is, you're not going to have a whole lot of anything in here. But you'll have certain things, like the phosphorus is going to be handy, so is the pugnium. Unstable plasma, I don't have to make my own now. So I can buy a lot of things in here. Oh, wow, look at that. 48 exosuit upgrade charts. Freaking awesome. Okay, so I can get upgrade charts from here, too. I got lucky. I got very lucky. All right, good. At one point, we're going to be, we're going to fill out our suit, but, you know, for now, that'll be good. I said fill it out, not fill it up. Let's be clear. All right, so before we expand the base, I can get Gravitino Balls. I'm going to go ahead and just do the base farmer at this point. I have to go outside the map to find them. Okay. Let me just see if I've got some. There they are. Got three. All right. I'm going to hold off on that for now, like I said. Uh, what do we got in here I need to get rid of? I'll just put them in there. I could put them in the other one for now. We have tons of this stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and put the navigation data there. Is this... That's for the infra knife. We're going to get that. We do have to hit the anomaly, so we're going to get our Q resonator here in just a minute. Um, the Q resonator, I think, requires basalt to install, if I remember correctly. So we may have to find a planet with basalt on it, or basalt, as the case may be. I don't know what you want to call it. So we'll have to do that later. All right. Well, let's go ahead and head out. So before we go anywhere, we have to hit the anomaly. Boom. Plenty of distance. We should have some ships popping in any moment, usually freighters. I do have multiplayer off, and PvP is off finally too. I remembered to finally turn it off. I kept forgetting about that. Um, PvP basically I had on during the Light No Sky event. Captain Steve, Professor Cynical, and Ricey from Ricey Starship Emporium were running. Okay, here we go. So, we don't need anything from the Quicksilver vendor. get a starship upgrade. The Q resonator is not something they're going to provide you with. I'm going to go ahead and get that. The secondary upgrades for your ship systems are always going to be something you have to get. Usually with nanites. Uh, let's see. It should be over here. There it is. Q resonator. No. Three hydraulic wires and a quantum computer with two wiring loops. So we should be good to build that. Is there anything else I need from him while I'm here? I don't care about all the others. This is useless, don't bother. Uh, you will get an S-Class Auto Launcher upgrade and we will get Emerald Drives and Indium Drives later on. That's part of the whole process. Okay. Ah, Instability Drive, Flight Assist Override, and Sublight Amplifiers. We will be getting these. That's why I'm holding off buying them right now. So we're gonna hold off on that, especially at the Emergency Warp Unit. We'll get that later on too. So. Not going to worry about those. We do need something. Yes, that's right. I needed something from here. I should have enough data to get it. Square room. How much do I have? 44 on me? Good. So we'll go ahead and get that. Um, I don't worry about foundations. I don't particularly care for those. There is a another thing we need here. Hold on. We got biodome. That's great. Doors, access ramp. Good. There it is. So, not the cuboid room. We want this. The frame. 
I cannot tell you how useful that piece of material is. For building things. Okay, I don't really need anything else. And you won't be getting any of those anyway. Um, while we're here, we'll check. I don't think there's anything he has that I need. Yeah, see, we could have got C-Class Slayer stuff. We will get a personal refiner on our own as well as the Trade Rocket. That Rerouter I'm not worried about. And the Airburst Engine is something I really would like to get one of these days, but I'll worry about it later. I got plenty of Nanites. It's not like I can't afford it, but we don't really need it. I think I've already hit this up. Yes, I have. Multi-tool upgrades. I would like to get the Pulse Spitter stuff. I think it's time. I do like my Bolt Caster, though, I will admit. And the Neutron Cannon, baby. That's an awesome weapon. But I'm going to wait until they hand it to me. So they've given me the Barrel Ionizer. They've given me the Plasma Launcher already. So that's good. They have not given me Vivoltaic Amplifier. I'm waiting on getting that. They haven't given me this, but I've acquired it via other means, as you saw. So I'm in good shape here. I don't really need anything else out of here for now. Pulse Spitter, I do have it already. And it's, they're going to give me one later. Yeah, let's hold off on that. I don't think there's any reason. And recipes, we will require a whole bunch of recipes. I don't want to get the rest just yet. Let me just make sure I've got what I need. Yeah, see, I don't have the quantum computer yet, and I do need that. I'll have to buy a quantum computer. Okay. And the same thing on the hydraulic wiring. So let's do this by the book. We haven't been given them yet. I could purchase some, but I'm not going to. So in the starship, here's our weapon. We're going to go ahead and put in the Q resonator. And we'll add that. So we need one quantum computer and three wiring, uh, hydraulic wiring. So we'll get them in a little bit. We're going to put the infra knife module in here. So that's going to give us even more of a boost. They're not perfect, but they're going to be really, really handy. See, I'm already doing still 6,000 damage on this. Oh, hey, charge you up finally. Let's move these down. There we go. And just see what happens when we put these together. 58. Okay, 61, 41 still. Okay, and 58. So we'll see what happens when we get this. We need one more upgrade for it as well. We can get one more S-Class or X-Class upgrade for it. That'll be good. All right, let's head out. We're going to go hit the next system that it's sending us to for the farmer. Right? Let me check the log. I'm not worried about the Q resonator. There. We can go to the other system that it that it's told us to go to. And when we get there, we're going to hit the space station because that's where the farmer will be usually. And once we hit the space station, we'll be able to get hopefully another upgrade, maybe? But we'll be able to get the parts is what I'm hoping for as well. I'm not in the mood for him. We're going to get out of here. That's one way you can escape him. You just go to hyperspace. Ooh. Too bad for you. <laughs> Meet me in the next system, pal. Then we'll talk. I don't think he could face me anyway. I've taken out so many pirates. It's ridiculous. Remember, we're in normal mode. We're not in survival or, or permadeath. We're just in normal mode, so all these guys are much, much, much easier. All right. Over there. And it's a space station. Big surprise. All right, here we go. I think we've been here before, if I remember correctly. I'll stick him in the back, in the uh, flatbed in the back of the uh, ship there. It'd be great if I could just pile some cargo in there or something. That would be hilarious. So he's upstairs right now. Uh, before I head up there, I'm going to hit the multi-tool vendor up there. Um, where's it, where is he down here? I don't remember this guy. Who is he again? Mission agent. Got it, got it. I couldn't remember. Multi-tool. Multi-tool. Hey, what do you got? 
Nothing. That's right. It was the ship ones that I'm looking for. And I need to check the trade terminal, too. Hey, there you are, buddy. Alright, what do you got? Is this the guy that had the S-Class upgrade? Infernife. Yes, he does. Alright, so there's our third upgrade for that. We're in good shape. Drop down here real quick. Let's hit the trade terminal. We need three of those... things... Ooh, none here. Okay, so we're gonna have to hit... a ship. So what do we need again? Hold on. Wrong one. We need... Okay, one quantum, three hydraulics. Hydraulics. Okay. One, two, three. Whoop. Okay. Always want to look to see if there's anything else you could use. Get him up, see if he's got a quantum computer. Nope. Hydraulics as well. Same items in his inventory, and the other guy already left. This one over here. Considering they're all Explorer class, they're probably going to share the same inventory. Let's see what he has, just in case. we got another ship coming in. We'll hit them up. Yeah, same. Except he's got uranium. I'm actually going to grab that because I could use some on my person. And I could use the silver as well. I'm going to go ahead and grab that too. Ah, uh, you know what? Grab the copper. For now. Alright. Let's go hit the guy up with the... Uh, shuttle. Where'd he go? I swore I saw him coming in here. Wow, okay, that's weird. This guy came in. Maybe this is what I saw and I didn't really actually see a shuttle. Probably what it is. That makes sense. Yep, yeah, you don't have anything for me. Ah, a fighter. Yeah, let's hit him instead. Hey, buddy. What you got? Looking for a quantum computer, my friend. You have nothing. Nothing I can use, but thank you, though. I appreciate it. And he's taking off, too. It's a nice looking ship, though. I like the wings. Love the engines. When I part out ships. Ooh, hauler. When I part out some ships, I'll go ahead and hit them up. Just need somebody with a quantum computer here, buddy. Hey, what do you got? Medic Seal Solar Mirror. Ammonia. Alright. And again, you know, we're not really getting anything we need here. We got a shuttle. We haven't hit the shuttles yet. Let's try him. Maybe he has the quantum computer we're looking for. Medic Seal. Phosphorus. Dioxide. Ionized Cobalt Salt. Okay, well, no, he doesn't. I'll check somebody else, because sometimes they, you know, the, the gear can change a little bit. Like one item or two here and there. But, yeah, yeah, nothing. I want to grab some tritium. Even though I don't have a ship that really requires it. I got another ship that does use it, but... It's good for as a building block as well, for certain things. Alright, let's go get our farmer while we wait. Maybe we'll hit our own space station. We'll use uh, hyperspace to get to where we're going instead of portal. Uh, let's see. Friend, you have work for me. This is Director Ebref. You know, that's uh, Ferb backwards. Interesting. Um, friend, you have work for me. Yes, I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, and each one producing prize winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me. Yes. The Gek chirps happily at the sight of me. They promise to help me grow all the kinds of crops on my world. They, the required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. The farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural terminal. We accept. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Very good. So we got him. Another shuttle here and an explorer class with one wing. Can't explore much if you're flying in circles, I guess, but whatever. Nope. Nope. Ain't got it. I don't think we're going to get a quantum computer here. Don't think we have one in our, in our storage. I should have checked. I didn't really look, to be honest. 
Yeah, nothing. Okay. All right, so let's let's take our ship and get moving. I'm gonna jet back, uh, hyperspace back instead, so I can hit our space station. Since we'll be right there, because we do a teleporter. You're thinking it too, aren't you? We could just teleport to our space station. It's funny, one-winged explorers, I expect them to be scraping against the side because it wants to turn to the right the whole time. It'd just be funny as crap. But anyway, that's just me. Yeah, take your time there, buddy. Jog it out. Longer strides. Come on. There, finally. You know what I keep forgetting to do in the anomalies? Uh, parting out those uh, multi-tools. Uh, let's see. Space stations. Previous system is what you're looking for. Unless you can remember the name of your space station. In your main system. Which I can never remember. So, is what it is. So what we're going to do with the cannon that's on there, the photon cannon or the equivalent, uh, the sentinel cannon that's on there, is we are going to dis dismantle it. And we're going to put the the other one in its place. Hello. Hey, look, a trade terminal. You discovered this. No kidding. Nope. No, not here. Return to your base. I don't want to. You can't make me. Tell me what to do. Alright. Let's move some stuff over. There. We're going to keep this stuff here for now. Um, nope. Yep. Okay, we got that. We just need the one quantum computer now to finish the build. Uh, let's see. We'll put this in here for now. So what kind of damage are we looking at now? It's 82.55. This is still at 16,000. Okay? We'll see what happens. We have a ship coming in. I need one quantum computer. Please and thank you. I really need to visit that freighter over there. At least to get it off my radar. It's driving me nuts. We'll immediately move that way. He always does. All right. What do we got? Grot interloper. What a what a what a what a what. What do you got? Nothing to help me. I'm gonna grab the chromatic metal that you have in your inventory, though, sir, because I could always use more. Ah, see, that's the one that I have. That's very similar, obviously, because I got it from the system. It's a C-class one. That's okay. It's more balanced and symmetrical. Makes for a nice ship why I got it last time, because I really liked it. What do you got? More chromatic metal. It's the same items. Oh, well, yeah, the Explorer class. That's right, right. Yeah. So, hey, fighter, let's grab you. What's up, dude? Please have it. Thank you. And we got it. Anything else in here we need? Not really. Thank you very, very much. Let's finish building it. And watch what happens to our weapons. 27,000 it goes up to. So. We're going to uninstall all this to give us room. And remove the option from our menu. Now, I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to put these guys around it. We're going to experiment a little bit. And see what kind of damage we output we're getting. So. 55,000. Let's move you over. 52. 52. Oh, wrong one. 52 again. Okay, let's move things. 38. So it immediately drops down. So let's move it out and do this. Oh, I didn't even check those. I should really check them first and see which one's the most damaging. So, 5 damage, 6 fire rate. 5 damage, 6 fire rate. And let me guess, 5 damage and 6 fire rate. So, they're all the same. Okay. What do we get? 42. 
All right, so it's dropped significantly, and I don't think this is going to make a difference. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we want to put you in here. That gets us back up to 50. 52. Shouldn't make any difference. 52. 40. Okay, so having these in the slot, at least one of them in the slot, is going to be the benefit here. So that's going to bring us back to 55. 52, hold on. And 55. All right, so that's where we are with that. Does this positioning make any difference? 48. 52 again. And 50. All right, so you, you, that should bring us to 52. So this needs to be touching this. So let me try one more thing. 50. Eight, fifty. I'm wondering if we move some stuff around over here. What are we at? 1493, 63. Let me just see what happens here. 50, 55, 52. Yeah, I don't think it's going to make a difference. Pretty much the same as it was before. All right. So let me put you back over here. That should be down to 52.7. And this should bring it back up to 55. Okay, it does. All right. So conclusion is we're going to put you back where you were. Is it, This is the best arrangement we've got. 55.052. And we can get some X-Class upgrades that are better than these. We'll look for them. So that said, we're all set. So we've got a lot of damage coming out of this thing now. All right, let's head back down to our planet. All right, good deal. So we got our weapons situation taken care of on there. Our ship is at really high capacity damage now. Not the best I've seen. I've seen some go well over 100,000 in damage, so. We'll see. The S-Class will always remain pretty much the same. If we can get some X-Class damagers, that'll be great. Uh, let me just run out here to the cargo containers. I need to deposit this stuff in there. Uh, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're going to be selling those. I am going to hang on to you guys for now. Silver in there, the copper in there. Tritium. Okay, good. Tritium can go in the other one, actually. What are you? Scatter Blaster. Geology Pulse Spitter. Oh, okay, that's something else. Alright, never mind. Anything else we need out of here? I don't think so. Got the uranium I'm gonna hang on to in my exosuit. Alright. You? Put you where was it? Put you in there. Because that gives us a bunch more. Okay, we did definitely needed some. Is there anything in here that is that's Pulse Spitter, Pulse Spitter, Scatter Blaster, Infra Knife Accelerator, but it's an A-Class one. It's not going to help us any. Let's go ahead and grab it and sell it, because we don't need the A-Class ones. All right. That should do it, I think. Ray Manipulator. Good. Occasionally you run a tweet. If you get a multi-tool, a lot of them don't have terrain manipulator, so it's good to hang on to those. Alright, so that's good. We need to sell all these. We're going to get a lot of nanites from it. That'll bring us well over the 30,000 mark again. Alright, let's head in. Um, let's meet our farmer. This is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear, for I come well equipped for such work. So he's giving us the large hydroponic, the small hydroponic, and the gut rot flower. Because that's going to be our first one to build. First lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life in death, after all. 
Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot flower seeds, grow the flower, and see how fine it feels to produce life. Director Ebref is already bedding in nicely. They have already given me the means to beautify my home if I provide myself, if I prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower. Perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. We'll accept, of course. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Gut rot? Really? Okay, well, no big deal. So what we're going to do here... Now, what can happen? Let's say we do the terrain manipulator. I'm going to go ahead and switch over right now. And we do flatten. And I flatten this down a little bit. The problem is, is that in a couple weeks, No Man's Sky will rebuild in this terrain or fill it back in. So we don't really want to just build into the ground. That's going to block up your base, if you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is, before we build anything, we're going to go over here, and we're going to choose that cuboid room frame, and we're going to put it down here. So I'm going to put it down right about, I guess, here. And we're not going to probably keep it, but I'm going to get back up here so I can do some more looking around. Hey, birdie. And it doesn't have to be straight on there. So what we're going to do is, do we want to just build a square room, or do we want to build a room room? I'd like to rather build a room itself and try to make it as squared up as to this as possible. I think that's good. You know what we can do here? Hold on. One. Let's, uh, hold on. Two. Ooh, look at that. That is better. Let's go ahead and put one more. It's going into the ground over there. So what I'm going to do is, let's do, can we, do we have half room? No, we that's okay. We'll put that there. It'll get a little bit of dirt on it. Let's go ahead and delete these two. And get rid of the cuboid. Alright. Panel. And we're going to build a room to the right. Okay? And we're not going to connect it to our building in any way. So, let's get some walls built. Can we do the extended walls? Yeah, let's do these. That'll let some light in. Wrong button. There we go. There. One. Two. Four. Flip them around so they're facing out. There we go. There we go. And we need a door, of course. So it'll look kind of funny that way, but that's okay. That'll work. And then we need a... I think I would like to go up one more. So I'm going to go with regular timber walls. we got plenty of these we can build, so I'm not really too worried. We've got plenty of uh, uh, carbon right now. There we go. There. And there. And let's go ahead and put the roof on. And the roof is just going to... I'm going to do basic. I'm going to do the flat one this time. I don't want to get too, too high because, uh, you know, we got a landing pad right next to me. There we go. So now the big thing is what we need is we need stairs that go up into this. And I, gosh darn it, I don't think I have the stairs. Uh, that was the one thing I was forgetting to get while I was up at the space station. Tell you what, I am not going to keep you guys here. Let's go ahead and put you on pause and I will see you folks in just a couple moments while I grab that right back and we're back okay so as you can see I've added a couple of accoutrements here I got some nice glass panel things I decided to get a couple extra items I got my stairs and I put the glass panels all around this whole structure including the roof uh, I think it was more appropriate to do that since this is going to be for growing things so let's get into it. Uh, let's see. So we need to make a gut rot flower, of course. But I'm going to do it with large hydroponic trays um, instead of the small ones. So we require four metal plates. I'm going to make them this time because I don't have a lot of ferrite dust. I need to make sure I get some more. Um, there we go. There we go. So let's make this. And we're going to put it right here. We need power. 
So we're going to have to run power. You know, you notice I have an electrical cloaking unit. I could get one of those because I wanted to hide all my wiring that looked really ugly. Um, let's run an electrical wire to this. This shouldn't take too much power to run. I'm going to at least try to be a little neat with it. I've got power nodes right here where the lights are. Oh, the light disappeared, did it? When I changed it out. Okay, so I see what happened here. See that? So that broke. That's a thing. Because we had a light on that wall. Do I have it in my inventory or something? No? Okay, Put that light back up there. There you are. I like the white light. So, back to you. Run it from here to there and there. To there. Hmm? That's still not getting us power. Why don't we have any power? Uh, let's see. Where are you going to? Let's go up here. Everybody lit up again? Good. Good. Alright. Seem to be in good shape, right? Alright. Everybody looks like it's working. Okay. My power wire out here. So from you going to go straight across to you. Alright. Now, uh, before we go continue on, we need to check our battery. It'll tell us how much grid power we're using and how much we have available. So we're using 82 right now. And if we check the solar panel, it'll tell us how much we can produce. It's not telling us. Okay. Well, we'll have to wait on that. And what are we down to? 29,000 all total on that battery. How much time do we have left of daylight? Or nighttime, I should say. Ten minutes. Ten minutes left, and how soon will this be depleted? Five minutes. So we're going to need more power, is what we're going to end up needing. Do, 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 do. Now we do have some more power out here from that. So I'm going to run a cable over here. And see if that helps any. Now how much time before we run out? 12 minutes. Okay, so that's better. So if everything hooked up, we are... While we're using 92, we now have more because I have another battery unit involved. Which is starting to run low, but that's okay. It's getting where we need to be. So daylight will be popping in soon and we'll be in good shape. Alright, good. Let's plant our plant. That would be over here. Got rot flower. We require 40 fecium. Let me check my container because I'm pretty sure I saved some. Uh, let's see. Fecium. We got mordite. Fecium. 116. There we go. Let's get a gut rot flower. We should probably grab the rest of the fecium, but that's okay. Be a reason for it in a second. Okay. We have to harvest 25, as you saw down at the bottom corner. So we have 18 right now. Let's grab the rest of our FECM and we can turn it in. This is the reason I got all those crops. I did that purposely because I knew we would have to turn some in. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Turn to the farmer, see? How is the gut rot flower, friend? Does it blossom? Is it heavy with fruit? We hand in the PCM. Beautiful friend, we shall make a farmer of you yet. While I prepare a dish of fragrant wonder, another agricultural challenge awaits you. So now we know how to make frost wart. We're going to need 50 frost crystals. Now you know why I did that. The frost wart is a tricky thing, friend. It flourishes where other plants fail, thrusting its roots through the ice and snow. But such a hard life is not for us. Plant one here in your home, and be spared the pain of winter. Director Ibrev asked me to grow a frost wart plant and prove our hydroponic system can replicate any environment. We accept. Wonderful, friend. It is a delicate thing to look at for such a hardy plant. Please do enjoy it. All right. So, back out the door. Let's get our frost wart. I don't think we put it away. Did we put it away? I think we put it away. There it is. So, we got 90... 
There we go. 93 frost crystals. I don't think we have any over here. I'm pretty sure that I didn't put it. Yep, we don't. Okay. So, let's get back up here. Hopefully he only needs 25 frost crystals, or otherwise we're going to have to go somewhere. Plant the frost wart. He needs 50. Gosh darn it. I'm short 7. 7! Fortunately, there's a planet in the system we can get it from. Rats. To say the least. Alright. A little upset about that. But that's okay. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. Uh, let's see. It is... That one? That might actually turn out to be a benefit. Let me just find out. That, I believe it is. Yes. Well, we can kill two birds with one stone. I can finally get rid of the crashed trader and get myself some frost wart. So, small, small benefits here, folks. Take it while you can. So we're going to go right to the crash site. So again, I can get this off of my... Oh. It's on the other planet? Boy. Okay, well that didn't work out well. That's okay. We'll try to get it anyway. Let's go ahead and drop down here and get my frost crystals. Or, oh, isn't that funny? Crash freighter. Talk about irony. Okay. I'm in low. Look for your frost crystals. Again, they are very obvious, if you will. Terrain is still building in a little bit, so... Okay, so now we got some stuff building in. Glitching, it tends to get you stuck. love the music in the background, though, from the game. Pretty good music. Surreal, I think, is a good term to use here. Alright, let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? There we go. Right there. Break rock. Thank you. And I'm gonna grab a bunch, because, you know... God forbid we need it for something else. Got it? Good. One last plant. Okay, we're done. Let's head out of here. And we're out. get up high enough, we should be able to target the freighter. Yep, there we go. And it's the moon. Ah, okay, so this is the paradise moon that we've landed on before. It says tropical for some reason, I don't know why, but we need to just at least ping this thing. I'm not really interested in the cargo for once. Because we have another means of making money. There we go. We're done. So we don't have to worry about this anymore. Uh oh. We mess up? Nope, nope, nope. We're good. We're good. I'll see if we can get there by skimming the atmosphere here. Excellent. Good deal. And we're really low on our pulse drive, finally. 7%. We're going to go ahead and drop a radiant shard in. Efficiency. Yeah. 
And as soon as we get those other pulse drive upgrades, we will be able to be even more efficient with our pulse drive. All right. Let's see how many more plants we can get done in the next 10 minutes. Stay up high. So we can move a little faster while we come in. There we go. And we got it. Okay. You have mastered the frost ward. Your base is already feeling more homely, yes? We confirm. Does the way it shimmer does the way it shimmers in the light not enchant you, friend? I have lost hours to its gentle glisten, but now a plant of great contrast. So now we're doing the solar vine. We got plenty of that. Your next crop will be solar vine, a plant that grows deep within the mantle of scorched worlds. It seeks out all heat from the sun or the core below. Its roots can extend to such incredible lengths that once it was believed in that they never ended. But do not worry, friend. Here, with our facilities, their growth shall be more manageable. Director Ebref wishes me to cultivate solar vine, a plant that usually grows only in extreme heat. We accept. If only I shone as brightly as a solar vine, I envy you the joy of discovery, friend. Okay. So we're going to do that immediately. We've got everything on us already. And we're going to put it in the far corner. There it is. And we already have 50, so we can now return straight to the farmer and complete this one. You have successfully cultivated solar vine, yes. I can smell its heat from here, its incandescent splendor. We can confirm that. Wonderful, savor this moment, friend. For now, I lead you into more dangerous realm of botanical study. We now have the fungal cluster. We'll need fungal mold, I think we've got some. Uh, fungal clusters are cultivated within toxic environments, but you have proved you can master much, yes? Be careful as you work, friend. Clusters have been known to cause illness and hallucination if improperly handled. Extended exposure is ill-advised. Sounds like a commercial, doesn't it? Director Ebref wishes me to use the hydroponics tray to grow fungal clusters. Except. Wonderful. While you prepare the fungal clusters, I will check our ventilation systems. One can have too much of a good thing. <laughs> That's pretty good. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put stuff away and get stuff. So, frost crystals can go in. I'm going to hang on to the star bowls and put the selenium away. Uh, do we have, we have cactus flesh? Let's go ahead and grab it. He's going to ask for that. I'm going to take the uh, gamma root as well. I don't think we're going to have enough cactus flesh. Unless it only takes 25. We'll see. I don't see fungal bowl. Over here, nope. We are going to have to go look for some. Fantastic. Okay, now one thing you can do too is we need to get fungal mold. Um, if you go to the catalog, materials, look for plants, and then fungal mold. You have now, just clicking on it, it tells you where you can find it. So, I don't know if we have any in our system. We're going to find out here in just a second. So, let's get out into space. And I don't think any of our planets do. Let me just try real fast here. We're in space. Uh, let's see. Frost, star, copper, star bulb. This, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait a minute. The unknown planet? I know this one doesn't, but the ringed one might. Where is that at? Is it over here? No, that's the uh, barren one. The planet is over on the other side. Let me just check it real quick here. Hold on. That's the hot planet, right? The one we're looking for was over this way. My bad. The wrong way. There 
Right there. Let's head towards it. Just for now. We ought to land on it at least once so we know. No, it doesn't. Hazy planet, but it's not what we're looking for. Okay, let's go into galaxy map. And it's telling us to go over to Resible. So we're going to head over here. See, this is the great part, is it can tell you what systems you've been to and what will have it. So if you've been to a bunch of systems, it could come in really, really handy. So this may be the last plant we can make, but we'll see what happens here. We've got a lot of plant stuff. So... Alright, here we go. Cactus flesh. We do need more cactus flesh. We should really hit that too, but I'm going to hold off in the hopes that we already have it. Fungal mold. Yay. I don't want that. Wait. Stop that. Sorry, it locked onto the tritium. Uh, emergency broadcast. Huh? Oh, what have we here? Reject their lies, follow us to freedom. The ship is broadcasting the same message over and over, an endless loop. Its message has decayed over time, but there are still salvageable coordinates amid the noise. We accept. I shut down my receiver and input the, the coordinates into my starship's navigation systems. One final check reveals no life signs, no further intelligent message from the abandoned vessel. Okay. Oh, there's a moon there. That has gamma root. Fascinating. Okay. So that's under a rebel star. Is started. We are going to kick that out of our log. Not going to delete it. I'm just going to go ahead and do... Agricultural research. We need fungal mold, so when we find it, we'll, that will disappear. Another nearby interest. Let me see what we got. Trader! Uh, interloper. What do we got? Let's check. What you got, man? Frost crystals? I really could have used you earlier. Viking daggers, pugnium gold. Uh, you don't have anything. I need. Do we have anything we can sell? I don't think so. If you're wondering about the leg meat, it's because I use that to get where I'm going. Um, to get my health back to normal, especially when I'm moving stuff around in my exosuit. As you uninstall and reinstall something or just move something, it gets rid of one of your plus signs. Like, you've just lost a health point. So you have to eat up in order to get it back to normal. So, anyway. Cidic Planet, here we come. So looking at the time, this one's going to run a little over an hour again. Out of first person, thank you. As with everything else, fungal mold is readily seen from a distance. You can see some of these look like uh, mushrooms and stuff like that. These mushrooms look exactly the same except they have little light, lit up balls all over them. So all you gotta look for. They will shine from a distance. As long as they generate in properly. If you're doing well, they should generate in pretty good. Yep, there they are. Right there. See? Little spots on them that shine. That's what it is. Okay. Largest planet, huh? Pretty cool. Now, this will give you usually quite a bit. This crop here. This is a huge cropping of it. Alright, how much more we got? It says we only took 100, but trust me, it's reset a couple times, so. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. How much did we end up with? 400. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Head out. Hey, is that what I think it is? 
I think so. I think it's a drop pod. It is. Take advantage of things when you come across them. How many times I've said that? Go. And we're going to put it down there. Okay. Let's head out. That was just a free upgrade I got. It cost me a few materials. And it didn't even require an exosuit chart, which is great. So that's the moon, I think, right? Yes, it is. Which has gamma root. We don't need gamma root. That's what it was. We have gamma root, right? We've got plenty of that. Yeah, we got plenty of gamma root. We got plenty of fungal mold. We do need cactus flesh, so I am going to head back to where we came and see if I can get a little bit of cactus flesh. Since we're here, we might as well do it before we head back home. Good. Looks like we're heading straight to a land mass, or a mass of islands that are stuck together. No storm is evident yet. Also good, makes it easier to search. Engines boosted a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Hopefully, we can find them pretty quick. Okay. There they are. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Not a huge cropping of them, but we don't need a lot, so. Just want to get rid of that because it's in my way. This is the largest planet now. What kind of standard are you using? Okay. A little bit more cropping than I thought there was. Oh, looks like we got three more. Four more. I missed one up there. Okay. More over here. Alright, anything else? I think we're done. That does look like there's literally one right there. That is hilarious. Ooh, have we not discovered animals on this planet? Oh boy, you know exactly where I'm going with this. Two of nine. Three of nine. Anybody else? Four of nine. Five. Six of nine. There's another one up there. Let's go check it out. Right there. Go to an open area where we might be able to see him better. Whoa, okay, he's pretty big dude. Aggressive. Okay, so we have ourselves a aggressive creature. Gotta be careful. So that's what, eight of nine, seven of nine? How many did we get? Seven of nine, get it, seven of nine. <laughs> uh, underwater. Both of them are underwater. I would love... Do we have any room for... What do we got? Oh, we got room for one more. I will go ahead and take that. Take that. Let's go ahead and grab him. I am really curious as to what he will produce for me. Eh. Kind of a creepy looking dude, isn't he? Wow. That is crazy looking. I need 
Oh, it's of course at home. I've got, I've got to check this guy out. Wow, that is crazy. All right, I don't know, maybe not so much. I like the dinosaur-looking ones, but that guy just looks like, I don't know. Somebody had an aneurysm in their programming department and decided to st stick too many things together. Like they were smoking some fungal mold. I don't know. Alright. Away we go. Uh, not quite. Where's the water at? Alright, let's go ahead for some water. You know I'm going to want to do this. I've got two more creatures to discover. They're both underwater. And I just need to get to an ocean. And you know that there's oceans on this planet all over the place. And since there's no storms, as long as I pulse out a little ways, I should be able to discover ocean. And just pulse back real quick. And even though we don't see any, there's normally some islands nearby. It looks like there's one right there. Not you. You. Perfect. Jump in the water and we'll take a look. Okay. Now I just gotta wait. Red dots. One. And we just need one more now. One more. Come on. There's only one more you need to show me. And you're just going to show me the same creature everywhere now, aren't you? You're just... Oh, you're stingy. We're actually going to kind of go in here. There we go. Right there. Perfect. We got everybody. But while we're here, let's not make it completely... They're going to attack me in just a second. I'm curious. I don't think they could attack me. It was really weird. I think I was literally too close to them for them to attack me. Look at them all, huh? Nice. Like they didn't know what to do. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And we're back out. Okay. And that should be everything, right? All nine. An extra 2250. Alright, we're out of here. Home, James. See, that's where my base... Oh, no, no, no. Right there. Thank you. That's where my base is. Let's head there. Alright, so we're going to head here and land. And again, we're well past the hour at this point. So we'll go ahead and get this plant going. If the other plants are real quick, because I have everything, we'll go ahead and plant them real quick and just take care of them. Get, get those mini missions out of the way, if you will. The submissions. But if we need to gather something and I gotta go somewhere, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Except that we're gonna get into a space battle first. Yay! Alright. Well, we can test our new weapons, right? Goodbye. Oh, come on. Just melt them. Thank you. Like I said, peasy peasy, right? Uh, let's go. Where'd you go? Now, see, they use that phase beam right there. I just took out two of them right back to back. And my shields are starting to drop a little bit, but that's okay. Careful you don't hit any ships in the distance. 
Is that it? No. One down, two down, and three down. Be it. Excellent. And he wants me to come aboard his vessel. Let's check it out. See what we get. Where are you? What do we get? It's not going to tell me how many ships I've taken out. So we'll check out this vessel. I, I don't mind an S-Class vessel. I'm only going to grab one if it's an S-Class. And I don't really care about the design because I am going to get a Dreadnought. This is B-Class. We're not going to accept it. But we will go ahead and take the reward. As you can see, I just melted those guys with those weapons. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, Captain, what do you got? Felt something pathetic interloper. Yeah, I just saved your butt. All right, what do we got? Increased standing, a couple hundred nanites, and some gold. Always welcome. Okay. Now, we're not doing ghosts in the machine. I don't know why it keeps putting me on that. We are doing this. We're going to abandon the search because we already got it. Agricultural research. Off we go. Gonna get past all these ships, unfortunately, before we can pulse drive to my base. There we go. On our way. Looks like it might be. Nope, it is locked up on our base. Look at that. Good. Stay up high. And drop in. some reason it doesn't register sometimes and I don't know why I'll just take the other landing pad right now it's perfectly fine nobody else lands here anyway now when you create a base ships may land here for you so anywho alright so we're not talking to him we are actually creating a plant do we have all the necessary Arts, fungal cluster, we need 50, okay. We're going to put it on this spot right here. So we got it. Now while we're here, we need four metal plates again. So when we go down there, we'll get four metal plates and I'll build another one. Okay, director, what do we got? Ah, you are finished then. Let me see those fungal clusters of yours. It has been such a long time. We offer them. You learn quickly, Traveler, now that you have mastered some of the more dangerous flora. Let us go one step further. We're going to do Gamma Weed, which we have. The Gek lost our homes, our cities, our identity in the last great war, Traveler. World upon world bombarded by atomic strike. All that grows in the worlds of old are warped things, deadly to the touch, screaming with the memory of what they once were. One such crop is Gamma Weed. We shall cultivate it here. Let us leave the fighting to others, friend. We shall grow things instead. Director Ebref wishes me to cultivate gamma weed using the hydroponics tray. We will accept. I await the results with anticipation, Traveler. Now, please forgive me. I have not been able to sleep recently. I must get some rest. Always the curious thing. Let me go grab some metal plates. I don't want to use my ferrite dust. I went right through a table. That was weird. Speaking of ferrite... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That way we have enough to build two of these hydroponic hydroponics? Hydroponic trays. And hopefully we have the energy to support all of them. Okay. Let's go back to our plants and gamma weed. Weed we're just going to put in the back right there. Now we can go back. 
don't have many more to go. Are the gamma weed cuttings ready? They require delicate care in spite of their chaotic origins, or perhaps because of them. Who knows? Show me your successes. We hand it over. Ah, I'll be able to make such fine dishes with this plant. It is a pity that you are unable to gorge on this radioactive treasure, Traveler. Okay, whatever. But perhaps I may offer an alternative. We will sate your hunger with beauty rather than food. And there he is, the albumin pearl. Oh, look at this. They got all three. The Gravitino Host, the Venom Urchin, and the Albumin Pearl Orb. We shall cultivate a crop of Gravitino Hosts. I, shall be able, I will be able to tell you the history of this flora, should you wish it. My stories and theories seem to bore the geck, other Gek friend. I suppose I am closest to the Corvax I wish to study, but even then, those machines lack all sense of surprise, all passionate wonder. I must confess that I frequently feel lonely. Director Ebrook wishes, wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow Gravitino hosts. We'll accept. Many believe the Gravitino hosts cannot be cultivated through artificial means, but I know they are wrong, friend. You will reap the benefits of my experimentation. Okay, so to build, make those, let me just see. Gravitino requires 120 silver. We have that in stock. We're going to get the Gravitino balls while we're at it. We're also going to make a Venom Urchin, which we do have 100 emerald. And the albumin pearl, which, oh, we don't have any indium and paraffinium. Okay. All right. We can make some of these, and we'll leave the others to later. Uh, not there. All right, so silver. Silver, 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 there it is. That should be enough. And what else do we need? Let's see. So this one we can make now. We have just enough silver. The Venom Your Urchin requires emerald. That's right, which we do have in here. Green. There it is. And last but not least, the Albumin Pearl, which I don't think we have any indium. We do have paraffinium. Wrong button. Paraffinium, paraffinium. And let me see. Indium, blue. We had some, but I think it's activated. Yeah, it is. All right. Yeah, so we're going to have to go get some Indium. We won't be able to do the last plant. Let's get these two planted. We'll call it done. First, a Gravitino. There. And then the other one, we're going to do the Venom Urchin since we can make it. There we go. And we're done. So we got both plants made. They're going to ask for... That's the reason why I grabbed the, the uh, Gravitino balls. Hand in one. I know that sound anywhere. You carry Gravitino balls, do you not? Hand in one. Ah, it is like greeting an old friend. Let me see them. Truly wondrous work, Traveler. And now we can do the Cactus Flesh one with the Pyrite. We have to get some Pyrite. We have seen so much life in frost and heat, nuclear winter, and toxic wastelands. You should know by now that no world is truly barren, friend, even if there seem to be few signs of life. Take the Echinocactus, for example. They are found on otherwise barren worlds, waiting for their moment to thrive. Just think of what we will become in this superior environment. He wishes me to cultivate Echinocactus, a plant that usually grows in barren worlds. We'll, of course, accept. I look forward to the results. We need pyrite. I'm not sure if I have any in my bin or if I've got to pull in my other ship. Yeah. Got gold, which by the way, is away. Bungal mold can go away. Gamma root can go away. Yeah, I don't see it. Let me check over here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's just more gold. All right, yeah, we have to pull in the other ship. Pull it in. Oh, right there. There's our pirate. Start to fill up, aren't we? Okay. Kino cactus. We got that planted. And we're going to go ahead and do another hydroponics tray because we need to. 
We're probably going to run out of power soon. I may have to address a power situation around here, but... The Aquino Cactus must have bloomed by now. Is it ready, friend? Can I see it? 100 Cactus Flesh. That's why we got the extra. I have only two plants left to show you. Your training is almost complete, friend. I am so proud. Star Bramble, which we've got. we just got to get more Paraffinium from the chest. I want to share something with you. Something that's beyond all this, I think he said. Star Bulbs are grown from the rarest Star Brambles found on Lush Worlds, unspoiled by war or death. This is why I wanted to become a farmer, to tend such sublimity. Uh, Director Ebrecht wishes me to use the hydroponics tray to grow star brambles. Accept. Excellent. I must go and speak to the overseer. Apparently they are unhappy with my performance. Perhaps this crop will change their mind. Okay. Let's get the rest of my paraffinium. I need about 27 more. Should be down here. By the way, let's move this over. Good. Uh, paraffinium. There it is. Okay. And while we're here, let's go in here and just put some stuff away. We don't need that. We don't need that. The salt. Cactus flesh we're not needing anymore. The emerald, the silver. Okay. Let's go. So yeah, we're running way over on this one, but we're going to complete the farmer episodes because I do want to start moving on and get other things done. Got it. Okay, star bulb is planted, we return. Star brambles have bloomed, yes, pass them over. Hand them in. Then only one task remains. Mordite root, we need 40 mordite. I cannot pretend to be a farmer anymore, the overseer has made it clear. I must be as the others of my species are. I must trade, sell, accumulate. But I will make a final meal before I leave, traveler. The overseer requested it, a dish made from mordite root. The death ele element. Go. Grow this final crop. Dr. Ebrecht wishes for me to use the hydroponics tray to grow mordite roots. Except the overseer asked for one last meal with me before I go. I must ready myself. Good luck, friend. Okay, we need 40 mordite. Seem to recall we might have it. You probably see it before I do. Purple, isn't it? I thought... That's Pugnium. I know I've got Mordite Root. Hold on. Go through it. Maybe it's in my other bin. It must be in the other bin. I know I have it. Positive I do. There it is. Yep, 29. We need 40. So I am going to get 11 more. And you know there's one obvious way that we can get it. And we'll need extra. So... We have flying animals on this planet. Do we have any land-based animals? I just don't remember anymore. Yep, ground, 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 ground. Two ground, three ground for Yeah, we got plenty of ground. So let's go ahead and just move away from this spot. And there you are. There's one. Not the leg meat I'm after. Thirteen more die. That should be enough to make what we need. But I need, unfortunately, more to turn in. Okay, any more? How much do we have? 58. We're going to definitely need more. I want to make sure I have at least about 100. And end the episode. There was an animal here, and it's not here anymore. Let's take you guys out, unfortunately. One. Two. This really hurts me. I wish I was near water, because that would be easier. I don't mind taking fish out for some reason. How much are we up to? 
86. Okay. That should do it. Okay. Let's turn it in and call it a day. So I think we're finally done. Need to make Mordite root. Okay. The only one we can't make is the albumin pearl because we need indium, but it's not part part of our quest line, so we'll hold off on that. Let me make it anyway. Down the roadways. You grew it, didn't you? The Mordite root is done. Hand it in. See, I know I needed 25. Let me see it. You have mastered so much of the botanical art, my friend. I see that others understand its virtues well. It gives me hope. It is a pity you can digest so little of your own produce. But creating life is its own reward, is it not? The farmer has no more tasks for me. They tell me that their contract is at an end, and that they will be returning to Gek territory. As they discuss their leaving plans, they watch the ceiling carefully. It is unclear what they are looking at. Suddenly, Director Ebrev grabs me, telling me not to trust the Overseer, that their fellow Gek may not even be a Gek at all. They seem to suggest that their food was somehow drugged. But this can't be true. I've shared meals with the Overseer, and I'm fine. They would never do anything to harm any of us. The Overseer only wants what is best. A moment later, the farmer stops speaking. They assure me they were just joking and beg me not to speak of this matter again. Thank them. I thank Director Ebref and leave. They have been a loyal friend. And it seems like I need to talk to him again. Let's go ahead and do it. I am not... Feeling like myself, Traveler, I do not think I should go. Not just yet. Yes, that's right. I will stay. Farmer appears to be refusing to leave despite a lack of continued payment or directives from the Overseer. They spend their days tending my crops, no longer proposing any tasks. They claim they have nowhere else to go. Smile at them. Dr. Ibis smiles back, happy to be here among their plants. And that's it. So that should take care of it. That takes care of all those missions for the Farmer. I do want to make that one more, but we'll see. Do we want to do Under Rebel Scar? I think I may hold off on that. And in the next episode, what we're going to do is go straight to Ghosts in the Machine. And we'll start doing the rest of the missions. So we'll get started on that here in a little bit. And I want to, again, thank you very much for watching, folks. Hit that like button, please. It does help the channel so much. Hit the subscribe button. If you were subscribed before, it may have unsubscribed you. So go ahead and hit that button again, or if you like what you've been seeing, please feel free to do so. And even so, even more so, if you enjoy really what you're seeing and you want to support the channel, there's the join button. I only got one tier. It's cheap if you wish to join. Thank you very much, folks. Again, we'll see you again in the future. Take care.